Hi, today's lesson is about recurring decimals and how to change them to fractions. So pause the video, write the title recurring decimals and write the date please. The first thing I want you to remember, because I think you'll have been told it before, is the difference between rational and irrational numbers. Rational numbers can be written as a fraction and they include terminating and recurring decimals. A terminating decimal is just one that terminates, it stops. A recurring decimal is one that has a repeated pattern somewhere in it. So it could be that, which would be 0.1212 forever. It could be 0.3 recurring, which is where just the three recurs, keeps going forever. It could be something like 0.462, if the dots are above the 6 and the 2, what that means is that this number is 0.462. And it's only the 6 and the 2 that recur, not the 4. So really look carefully about where those dots that show a value recurs are. The other type of number you could have is you could have a number where the dots are above a pattern of numbers like that. And that one, it's that whole pattern. We only put it at the first and last number in the pattern to show that's the pattern that recurs. So it keeps going like this. It would keep going. 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5. It would just keep going. It's really important that you understand these dots and which numbers they mean recur, particularly in this one. The 4 does not recur. It's the numbers with the dot above them that recur. Unless, like with this one, there's a gap, then it's that whole sequence of numbers that recur. Irrational numbers can't be written as a fraction, but all terminating decimals and all recurring decimals can be written as a fraction. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to write a recurring decimal as a fraction. I'm going to show you how to change recurring decimals to fractions. You may see some patterns, and that's okay but make sure you understand this method because the method I'm going to show you will always work. Some of the numbers there will be patterns for, but it won't. those patterns won't work for all types of recurring decimals. First of all, just be clear, and I'd always suggest you write this out because it's really easy to make a little mistake at this point and then get the whole question wrong. 0.2 recurring is 0.2222. I'm going to let x equal 0.22222. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply that by 10. So I've got 10x, and if we multiply the right-hand side by 10, we've got this. The reason I do that is because I want to make this decimal section the same. I'll show you why now. Now that I've got the decimal section the same, what I can do is on my left-hand side, I can do 10x take x, and on my right-hand side, I can do 2 goes on forever. Subtract 0.22 goes on forever. Now think about what happens with this calculation. It probably makes sense for you, but just think about it, in case it's not obvious. I will constantly do 2 take 2 is 0, 2 take 2 is 0, 2 take 2 is 0, 2 take 2 is 0. That decimal section disappears. 2 take 0 is 2 though. That's where that one bit, that's what happens with the whole number rather than the decimal section. Now, that is the right-hand side. That becomes 2. 2.2 .2 recurring subtract 0 0.2 recurring is 2. What about that left-hand side? By the way, I'm talking about the left-hand side of the equal sign. The equal sign is how I split it. And this I call the right-hand side of the equation. Now, on this left-hand side, we've got 10x take x, which is 9x. Now, you will have done solving equations. And if I want to know what x is, I'm going to divide both sides by 9. I can't do 2 divided by 9, so I leave it as a fraction. Now, just remember what we did at the very beginning. The very first thing I did was I let x equal 0.2 recurring. If I've now got to the end and I'm saying that x equals 2 ninths, well, they're the same thing. So I have shown in this that 2, sorry, 2 ninths is 0.2 recurring because x is the same number, okay? Now that was the easiest one. This one's slightly harder. 
again, be clear what this number is. This number is this. The zero doesn't recur, the three does. I'm going to let x equal this. And remember, my aim is to get the decimal section the same. So I'm going to do 10x. That gets me this. Now, that decimal section is not the same. So I'm going to times by 10 again. You can times by 10 as many times as you like. Just remember you're aiming to get that decimal section to be the same. Now here, in these two, my decimal section is the same. So I'm going to do the same as I did on the previous question. I'm going to do the biggest one, take the smallest one on the left-hand side. And I'm going to do the biggest one, take the smallest one on the right-hand side. Now just remember, why have I chosen the 100x and the 10x? That's because the decimal section is the same. Yeah, that you, you're trying to get rid of that recurring. And to get rid of that bit that's recurring, you have to have the decimal section the same so that when you subtract it, they disappear. So remember, 3.3 uh, recurring, subtract 0 0.3 recurring. Every time I take these threes, that bit's going to be zero. And on the final bit, I'll end up with three. So on that right-hand side, I end up with three. On my left-hand side, I've got 100x, take 10x. 90x. Now we're just back into dividing, uh, sorry, solving equations. So I'm going to divide both sides by 90. x equals, and I'm going to write that as a fraction, 3 over 90. Remember what we said x was at the start. We said x was 0 0.03 uh, recurring. They are the same thing. 0 0.03 recurring written as a fraction is 3 over 90. If at any point in this video you need to pause it and you just want to ask Sarah a question or double check, uh, please do just so you understand what's going on because what happens with these is they get gradually more difficult. Another point just to add, uh, on your Hecate Maths clips, he will ask you to simplify the fractions if you can. Both of these numbers are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 90 divided by 3 is 30. So he would expect you to put that in as your final answer. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit faster. Always at the beginning of a question, be clear, what is it that recurs? In this case, the 7 and the 8 both recur. So I'm going to start by setting my x equal to my number. I'm then going to write my 10x. By the way, it's, it's, you need to be writing all of this down in a question. If This is a really straightforward exam question, but you have to show all this working. You can't skip writing the x's. You can't skip, you know, you always have to show the three dots. That shows you know this number goes on forever. So as much as it's quite a lot of working out, you should be showing all of these steps. It, you will find it's quite easy to make mistakes if you're not careful as well. So now be careful. Is that decimal section the same? No, it's not. Notice to help myself work that out, I write them and line them up. I line the unit up. I line the decimal up. I, write, I line the first decimal place up. Because I've got to always be looking for that decimal section. No, I've not lined it up here, so be really careful. But that decimal section, the same. Now, you should be able to see that decimal section is now the same as that decimal section. So this time, I'm going to use this one and this one. Because that's how I'm going to get rid of that decimal section, get a whole number, and then be able to divide to get a fraction. So on my left-hand side, I've got 100x take x. On my right hand side, I've got 78.7878, subtract 0.7878. Now on the others, remember I wrote that at the side. If you still need to do that, write it. But I know by looking at those numbers on the right hand side, I know that this section subtract this section, they're just going to be zero. So I know that the right hand side is going to become 78. On the left hand side, I've got 99x. I want to solve this equation, so I'm going to divide both sides by 99. So I get x is equal to 78 over 99. Remember what we set x as in the beginning? That was my 0 0.78 recurring. So they are the same number. I have changed the recurring decimal to the fraction 78 over 99. All the examples I've done so far, they're from Hegty Maths Clip 53. So what I think you should do now is all stop, 
Go and check you understand. Look at Hegarty, sorry, complete the Hegarty Maths 53 quiz. Show all you're working like I have and just make sure you've got it in the basics before I move on to the harder one. If you finish before everybody else, maybe just go and do a memory and then everybody can move on to the harder ones together. The other thing is, like I said in the question before, uh, Hegarty wants you to write this in its simplest form. Now, I know these numbers are divisible by 3. 7 add 8 is 15. 9 add 9 is 18. So when I've added the digits, they add up to a multiple of 3. Therefore, each number is a multiple of 3. So 78 divided by 3. I'm going to have to do it like this. That one's 26. And 99 divided by 3, I can do that in my head. That's 33. So Hegarty would want you to put that answer in. Make sure if it says your answer is wrong, double check your work. Just double check whether it's that you haven't simplified the fraction rather than done anything wrong. Okay, so there's two more types I need to show you. First one I'm going to go through quite quickly. I talked about this at the beginning. If the dot has a gap in the middle, if the dot that shows recurring has a gap in the middle, that means that whole pattern of numbers recurs. Okay, so that keeps going in that pattern. Exactly the same. Let x equal that 10x. Try and remember, what are we looking for? We're looking for that decimal section. 7, 8, 1, 7, 8, 1. We're looking for that decimal section to be the same. 78.17. Still not the same. Keep going. Now, in exam questions, you very rarely have to go past 1,000. Uh, but that's not to say you won't have to, you might have to. Okay, I've got it. Look. And this is what you've got to be thinking about. When is that decimal section the same? Okay, it's the same. Remember, it does keep going. I'm not going to just keep writing them all the time. That's what the dots show, that they keep going. Okay, so now I'm going to look. On my left-hand side, I'm going to do the 1,000x take off. And it's those two, so I'm going to take off the x. And on my right-hand side, I'm going to do the 781 0.781, subtract the 0, 0.781. So the left-hand side is going to become 999x. The right-hand side, remember, these bits are going to become 0 because I'm just going to subtract them. That's why I have to set the decimal to the, so that the decimal sections are the same. That's going to become 781. Now I want to solve this equation, so I'm going to divide both sides by 999 because I want what x equals, and I get 781 over 999. One of the things that's going to happen in the Hegarty Math clip you do for these ones is it's going to ask you to simplify these fractions. You do need, this one doesn't simplify, I don't think, but you do need to be really careful that you simplify carefully. If it tells you the answer is wrong, you may not be wrong, you may have just not simplified it. So be really careful that you're simplifying those fractions at the end of your question. Okay, next I'm going to do a different type of example. You've got to be really careful with the numbers on this one. Remember, it's not the 3 that recurs, it's the 2 and the 7. I'm going to let x equal my number. Remember what we're looking for? We're looking for the decimal section to be the same. The dots just show that you know that number continues forever. Okay, so I've still not got any where the decimal section is the same. Okay, now I have. I've got this one and this one. They're going to be the same. So I'm going to do my thousand x subtract my 10x make sure you're subtracting the correct ones i'm going to do my 327.27 subtract my 3.27 now this one is a little bit different just have a look and this is what i mean when i said remember these go on forever i'll just keep taking the numbers and getting zero remember when i said that you might see some patterns but be careful because they may not always work in all the other questions you did, this number became part of the fraction. In this question, when you subtract the right-hand side, it becomes 324. 
on the left hand side I've got 990x I'm going to divide both sides by 990 so we get that x is 324 divided by 990 I can see they're both even so I need to simplify them because I can see they're both even I'm going to divide by 2 I've got to be quite careful when I do this next one. There's nothing obvious to divide by. Just double check you know how to find if a number is divisible by 3 or 9. If you add the digits together and you get a number that's a multiple of 3, that means the number is divisible by 3. And if you add the digits together and get a multiple of 9, that also means the number is divisible by 9. So it only works for three multiples of 3 and multiples of 9. These digits add up to multiples of 9, which means these numbers are divisible by 9, and then those numbers are multiples of 9. So very quickly at the side, I'm going to do 162 divided by 9. So that top number becomes 18, and then we're going to do 495 divided by 9. So it becomes 18 over 55. So remember on the Hegarty clip, if it says you're wrong, double check you're working, but it might be you're simplifying rather than you're working. So be careful with that. The last two examples I've done, they are Hegarty Maths clip 54. It's the exact same method. It's the exact same principle. You're looking for decimal sections that are the same. So you can subtract them to get rid of that decimal section and then solve to get a fraction. And that is how you change a recurring decimal to a fraction.